Hi everyone, back here for another video. And back here with the keyboard most of my viewers like, which is the Logitech K380. I have made many videos on the K380, but most of it I've used this with my iPad. This time I'm using the Logitech K380 with the Samsung Tab S8. I will show you my favorite keyboard shortcuts to go around using the Tab S8 plus typing shortcuts and more. I expect that you already know how to connect the K380 to the Tab S8 or Tab S8 Plus Ultra, whatever you have. If you don't know yet how to connect the Logitech K380, I made a YouTube shorts about it, so check it out. The link is in the description below. Let's start with the keyboard shortcuts for tablet mode. Start plus slash will open the keyboard shortcut list. Take note that those showing as command or CMD in this list, in the K380, it is the start key. Also, the keyboard shortcut list will change depending on the app I currently have open. As we see here in the home screen, these are the keyboard shortcuts. But when I switch to another app, let's say the Ecosia or Chrome browser, here are now the shortcut lists showing. Next shortcut doing start plus F from the home screen is to do a search, whether it is to find and open an app or to do a Google search or even a YouTube search. I can switch between open apps by simply pressing on the F5 key on the K380, or I can switch between apps using the famous Alt and Tab key. Next shortcut start plus the left or right bracket key is kind of like doing a split screen in the iPad, but here it always puts the current app on the left side, and then I can open another app on the right side. There is no shortcut to resize the apps in split view. I have to use the touch screen to resize the apps or even to bring it back to full screen. Function plus spacebar is to change language, but make sure to update the settings to add the different language that you need to use. Start plus N is to show the notification or the quick actions. Start plus Z will open the settings. Start plus the dot or period will show the emojis. And the function keys for media controls work as usual. And the escape key here works as usual too but something different is that pressing escape will take me out of the app, but this doesn't work on all apps. It works on YouTube, for example, that when I hit escape, it will go back to the previous page, then to the home page, then escape again will take me back to the tabs home screen. Weird way to get back to the home screen, but well, it's there. And lastly, function plus L is to lock the tablet. Now let's move on to the Samsung DeX shortcuts. Start plus W will start and exit Samsung DeX mode. Once in DeX mode, I can search for an app by pressing on the start key. Then I can type in the app name or a keyword. Now multitasking shortcuts. Alt plus tab like in tablet mode and in windows is to switch between open apps. But similar to tablet mode, I can only move forward using Alt plus Tab, and I have to use the arrow keys to move to the left side or move backwards. Alt plus Tab plus Shift doesn't work. An alternative way to switch apps, I can do Start plus 1, and this will open the first app on the taskbar. So Start plus 2 will open the second app, Start plus 3 will open the third app, and so on. Start plus left key will put the app on the left side and will initiate a split view. Start plus right key will put the app on the right side and then I can open another app on the left side. Now let's see my favorite typing shortcuts. I use similar shortcuts like what I use in Windows. 
So control plus backspace is to delete a word. Control plus shift plus arrow left or right will highlight the words. Control plus arrow left or right will move the cursor at the beginning of each word. Then function plus shift plus arrow left or right will highlight a line. And from here, I can delete, reformat, change the word again without deleting one letter at a time or one word at a time. The function plus arrow up or down will move the cursor at the beginning or end of the page. Function plus arrow left or right will move the cursor at the beginning or end of the line. This is a basic tip where holding on the shift key and then using the arrow up or down will highlight these lines. Now let me show you the browser shortcuts. As I mentioned earlier, I can search for an app. In this case, I will open Chrome or Ecosia browser by simply pressing the start key. Then I can type the app name or the keyword. Once inside the browser, I can switch tabs by doing Ctrl plus tab to move forward to the next tab. Or Ctrl and tab number, which is one, two, or three, or control plus nine will take me to the last tab, even if there are less than nine tabs open. Or I can do control plus tab plus shift to move to the previous tab. Control plus T or N will open a new tab. And control plus L is to put the cursor on the search bar or the URL bar. Kind of weird though is that I cannot find a shortcut to open a new window, whether it's on Chrome, Ecosia, or Edge. My workaround is to press the start key, then I search, for example, Chrome, and when I hit enter, then it will open in a new window. This works on some apps like Chrome or Samsung Notes, but it doesn't work on every app, like it doesn't work on Ecosia or YouTube as they don't support multi-tabs for these apps. I cannot open a new window by dragging the tab to the side to open separately something possible and I can do on the iPad. Another shortcut I cannot find, which I think it doesn't exist in any operating system, but correct me if I'm wrong, is the keyboard shortcut to move a tab to a new browser window. If any of you know a shortcut, please let me know in the comment section below. So I hope this video helps you if you're using the Logitech K380 keyboard with a Samsung tablet. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll try to answer it as much as I can. And that's it. Thanks for watching.